Hello everyone, thank you for watching this Java programming tutorial for beginners on relational operators and if-else statements. In this tutorial I will explain everything in detail for beginners and provide some example Java code in Eclipse. I will talk about the types of relational operators used in the Java programming language, if-then statements and if-then-else statements. I will also show you how to increment a value and replace the current value with the new one. To compare values in Java, we use the following equality and relational operators. Let's start by writing a simple Java program. I will start out with a class called Hello World. Note that in Java the class name must match the file name, so the file name is Hello World.java. Within my Hello World class I have a main method. All Java programs must have a main method. The main method is executed first and calls all of the other methods required to run your program. Let's create a field called age of type integer, int space age, semicolon, and a couple of methods within our hello world class, public, void, verify age, and within the parameters an integer called age. The keyword public means that any class outside of the hello world class can access the method. Void is the return type and means that this method does not return anything. The name of our method is verifyAge and it takes one parameter which is a variable called age of type integer. Within our verifyAge method we will write an if then statement. An if then statement executes a certain block of code only if the test evaluates to true. Let's write that code now to understand what that means. If and then within our parentheses we can write our test, which is age is greater than or equal to 18. And then within our curly brackets we're going to write the code that will be executed if that statement is true. System.out.println and within the parentheses the string you are an adult. This line of code checks the age which we pass in as a parameter and tests to see if the age is greater than or equal to 18. If that test evaluates to yes or true, then the program will print to the console you are an adult. If that test evaluates to false, then nothing will happen. If you want something to happen when the test evaluates to false, you need to change this to an if then else statement. We do this by adding else and then curly brackets and then within the curly brackets system.out.println and within the parentheses the string you are not an adult. You can also add an additional else if in between the if and else statements to test another condition. Else if age is equal to 17 system.out.println and within parentheses the string you will be an adult in one year. Remember that two equal signs is to test for equality and one equal sign is to set a value. Now let's add an additional function which we will use to increment our age value. Public void new year and within the parameter an age of type integer. Within the curly brackets we have age plus plus this dot age equals age. This is a public function called new year and it doesn't return anything. It takes a parameter of type integer. On this line of code we are taking the current value of age and adding one to it. Plus plus is the increment operator to add one to the value. On the next line of code we are setting the object's age field to the value of age. Now within our main method let's create a new object of type hello world. This means that our object will have access to the field and methods that we just created. Hello world Michelle equals new hello world. This line of code creates an object named Michelle of type hello world. Let's set Michelle's age to 16 by typing michelle.age equals 16. Then let's pass Michelle's age into the verify age method. Michelle.verify age and within the parentheses michelle.age. Let's also print Michelle's age to the console. System.out.println and within the parentheses michelle.age. Let's run the program and see what happens. On our console it reads you are not an adult 16. When we passed Michelle's age of 16 into our verify age method, the first two tests resulted in false, so those codes were not executed. 
the last else statement was printed to the console. Now let's type michelle.newyear and within parentheses michelle.h and copy-paste the two previous lines of code underneath that one, then run the program. Now we have you are not an adult 16, you will be an adult in one year 17. What happened here is we passed Michelle's age of 16 into our new year function which then added 1 to that value and set it as Michelle's new age. Then when we passed that new age of 17 into our verify age function, the code within if else age is equal to 17 was executed. Now let's add one more year to Michelle's age. You can copy and paste the last three lines of code, then run the program. Now we have two more lines of code on our console. You are an adult 18. I hope that this Java tutorial has helped you understand more about the if-else statements in Java, relational operators, and incrementing a value. If you have any questions or tutorial requests, then please leave a comment. And also please subscribe to my channel, Bootstrap CSS Girl.